This is Mahesh Ravi. In this video, we're going to take a look at Adobe Firefly's new image gen model to create stunning imagery using their new structure reference and style reference. So let's get into that. So if you go to Adobe Firefly and log into their Firefly generator, you are right now on image generation, the third model. So you can start typing your prompts right here. You can start typing anything to start with. So I'm going to type fluffy uh, 3D text and I'm going to click generate and we are now in the control center right now forget about the content that we are generating at first because this was our dummy prompt what we are going to use here is these two options on the left side that you can see one is structure reference and the style reference so the structure reference is where you upload an image which will serve as the um, shape or the main form of the content that you are creating. So um, Firefly is going to study the contours or the edges or the overall shape of the image that you are uploading and uh, it will recreate that shape in uh, Firefly. And style reference is where it will take the aesthetics from, right? So what kind of imagery should be created into that structure, it will take from the reference that you're uploading here. So we're going to do this. So to create a structure, we will actually use any design uh, application to build a, a regular text. So I'm going to go to Canva right now because I'm going to try and create a 3D typography. So I'm going to go to create a design and then click on Instagram post. I just need a basic um, text to be created. I'm going to type S here. Let's make it big, right? So we have this. Let's make it a little interesting by changing the font here. So we'll make it slightly decorative, uh, maybe. I'm on the free op version of uh, Canva here, so I might not have too many fun stuff, but um, okay, this seems interesting. So I'm going to do this right now and I'm going to just go to share, download this as a JPEG file. And this is what we are going to use it as our structure reference. Now for our style reference, we need um, the material that this need to be built in. And what I'm going to do is I need a leather build for this. So I'm going to just type for an image here. So fluffy leather stitched textured pillow. I've already done this, so that's the reason it's showing in my history. So let's search that. And I have um, references popping up right here, which is interesting. So I'm going to go through something that really fits um, the style that we want to recreate. Um, so this is interesting. So I'm going to just save this image here. So we have two images right here. One is our uh, style reference and one is our structure reference. Let's go back to Firefly and let's start uploading this. So in our structure reference, we are going to upload um, the text that we created. Just click continue and we have it. We'll push the strength to maximum so that uh, the AI will stick to the structure as much as possible. And for these styles, we'll upload the leather uh, pillow image. And again, it shows strength we'll just up the strength to the maximum. And when it comes to the text prompt, you can see that right now the style reference and structure reference are there, but it still says fluffy 3D text. So we're gonna change this a little bit, right? So what we are going to do is we are going to copy our keyword from our Google search, and we are gonna paste it here into the text prompt just to support it a little better. So instead of pillow here, we are gonna type text fluffy leather stitched texture text, and we have everything set. Click on generate. Okay, so here are some pretty awesome results, and I like this one really, really, you know, um, the best out of the results that we got. Uh, so if you look at this, it actually sticks very close to the structure that we have, right? The typography that we actually uploaded, it sticks to that structure, and it's stuck to the image that we uploaded as well, the, the texture of it, the contours of it, uh, the kind of stitching that goes to the edges and all that, it does a fairly good job, right? So um, try this out and it's an awesome uh, technique to create some amazing 3D typography. And I'll see you with a new video soon. Till then, bye.